imagine is 1400 years ago. It's the 9th of Muharram. You're in your tent at night, you hear noises and commotion coming from outside. So you come out from your tent and you see people leaving the camp of Imam Hussain in their hundreds and thousands. For a split second, your eyes fall into the eyes of Imam Hussain There and then you, Sajjad, decide you're going to stay, knowing 100% what's going to happen to you when the morning comes. The morning comes, it's Ashura, and you're the 73rd companion of Abba Abdullah. Imagine you walk up to him and he gives you the choice into how you want to serve him on that day, knowing the different events that take place in that day. Where would you? want to serve? In battle with Imam Hussein. I want to serve in battle. So I would know I would have the honour of dying with Imam Hussein in battle. Why specifically Imam Hussein? Why wouldn't some people say they'd go get water with Bathal al Abbas? Some people say they'd try to protect the tents of the women and children. Some people say they'd want to bring back the pieces of the companions from the battlefield. Why would you want to go and fight with Imam Hussein? Without Imam Hussein and all the other companions, there would be no Islam. So me having the honor of dying with the person that brought Islam to us, that would be a great honor. Imagine one day you come home from school, college, university and your family are running around the house all excited. One person's preparing fruit, another person's bringing food, another person's making tea. And you finally grab hold of one of them and you say, what's going on? And they say, someone's come to see you. So you say, who is it? They say, no, he's waiting for you in there living room. So you come to the living room, you open the door, you walk inside and you see Imam Hussain sitting on the chair in front of you. In that moment, what would you say to him? What would you want him to say to you? The first thing that I would do is I would bow down to his feet as of all the respect I have for him, of what he's done for us, for Islam. And I would ask him, what is there for me to do for you, Abu Abdullah? What is there any khidmah for me to do for you? What would you want to hear from him? What would make you happy? For him to say that with everything that you've done so far is, is good. Yeah, the khidmah that you've done is good for the Husseiniyah, for helping other shabab, anything. He says that I'm proud of you. And I keep on going. That will be the kind of answer I would want. A lot of people often forget that we have our Imam alive and with us. And at the start, I asked you about 1400 years ago. I said, if you were there, what would you have done? And it might be easy knowing the tragedies that took place back then to say, I would help with this, I would fight with that, I would try and stop this, or I would bring X to Y to Z, etc. And I said to you, Imam Sayyidina Islam's Islam has given you the choice. And in this day and age, in a way, with our Imam being away from us, we have the choice in how we decide to serve him best. So what do you think you've done for the 12th Imam 
What do you think he deserves from you? What do you think he would accept from you? What we've done so far is not as, it's not, how do I say, we haven't done enough. Khidmah is, is something that there's no level to it. The more you do, yeah, you get closer to, to gaining thawab and um, there's, no, there's no limit for you to stop and say, yes, I've done enough. There's never a limit to khidmah of Abba Abdullah al-Hussein. So what do you think we should do for our 12th Imam differently? Everything that we're doing now is it's not just it's not just about the latom, the tatbir and all this. It's not about that. It's it's about the lesson that he taught and the les the lesson that we learned from him. The the him he's given his life for, him for Islam. And us giving this little khidma, uh, doing latom, doing this is is just little baby steps towards towards the the love of Abu Abdullah and the love that he will give to us as his servants. <laughs> Oh, God.